exploration in Guild Wars is very important because you're rewarded in a way that no other game really rewards you. Um, it not just gives you experience, but it also gives you special and really powerful items if you manage to explore an entire area. Like for example, you can see here for the Plains of Ashford, I actually completed the entire thing and when you do, you get one of these little chests here that contains uh, awesome items, like high level items that are actually rare and stuff, so it's, uh, and not just that, but it, it does reward you in the end with like a I guess like a like an achievement. I think it's a really nice way, but I talked about it a little bit on my last video on my first impressions about how awesome it was. And uh, I guess I just want to show you uh, a pretty hardcore uh, vista and uh, how to do it just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So what we have to do uh, for this vista is that we have to get up there. You see that little shining light that goes above to the sky? We have to go there. And uh, to get there, we're going to have to do some platforming uh, throughout the castle to get there. Now, the hard part in, in, with this type of things is obviously finding the, the start, right? The way up. Like, how are you going to platform your way up is the hardest part. Now, I already uh, figured out where to go. But uh, there's a new event. You can see that new events in the game just sort of pop up. And uh, you can, like, go there and, and help whatever's happening there. You can see that some separatists are... Getting some cattle. <laughs> and if we help, we get XP, which is real nice. But, um... Let's go ahead and start doing the... The Vista here. So, there is a way up here. And uh, most of them, this is the hardest part. Finding that way up, the start way up. But I'm gonna see if I can evade all of these guys. Because uh, I already fought them, like, multiple... Okay, I'm gonna have to fight them. And, uh, let me go ahead and lower the volume just a bit. Oh no! <laughs> okay. I'm killing them because they, uh, especially the ranger, the archer, he sometimes, like, uh, cripples you. And if he cripples me right before when I'm about to jump, then it's obviously pretty bad. But this is just an example of what you're gonna be encountering. Uh, there's, you know, some platforming that happens. And, uh, we're gonna go take our way there. Jump. And, uh, oh, you see, that's what happens. He crippled me right before when I was about to jump. And really, okay, she's a really hard one to beat because she's a veteran. Veteran cultist. Those are, like, harder, I guess. <laughs> uh, NPCs, the, the veteran guys. Oh, gosh. But uh, one cool thing, though, is that you can see that I'm, like, rolling to the sides. That actually helps me evade stuff. Um, if she hits me while I'm doing that, then I completely evade it. It's, I, I think it's a really cool thing. And as you can see, if I get downed, um, if I kill them, then I revive. Just like in Borderlands, I guess, it, it, for those of you who are familiar in Borderlands. Oh, and by the way, you will find these letters here. They, uh, going too far to turn back now, every step makes me close. Yeah, um, they give you tips on how to reach the end place of the Vista. Uh, we're gonna go there. Take some platforming jumps here and there. This gets a little trickier here. There you go. We're gonna evade that. There's no reason to fight him. Ah! Hate when they do that. <laughs> he scribbled me. Uh, okay, we're gonna jump here at where slowest. Platform our way. Ah! Okay. No. Can get a little tricky. Okay. Oh gosh, I am so bad at this. It's funny how, like, there's, like, a curse of the... I guess, I guess it's called the curse of the Let's Play. It's like, every time you're trying to commentate on a game, it's like, you'll just play, like, far worse than what you usually do. <laughs> you see that you'll find, like, a bunch of people also doing the same thing, because... I really, really like the way they rewarded. Like, people are actually doing it. It's not like... Because you see always, like, games like... Well, I'm not gonna really set examples, but... Whoa! Yeah, they uh, they say you know we reward exploration and it's, it's nice to, like go out of your way and find different places and and hike and whatever but they don't really reward you for it they don't they're usually like they give you like chests and stuff but it's hard to like tell when you're gonna get a chest or not like you have to sort of go out of your way to find places that the developers feel they're rare enough for them to reward you with a chest and here they tell you oh, hey there's gonna be there's a platforming uh, secret here, and if you can get there, 
then you're gonna get something. And they tell you straight up. And I think that's really nice. Because uh, you don't have to, like... I mean, exp it's nice when they tell you, because... I don't know. I don't really know what I was going for with that, but... Um... I guess... <laughs> I, j I I lost lost my words there for a second. But it's nice when you know, you know, like... Alright, if you do this sort of cool thing, then you're gonna get rewarded. Whereas, otherwise, it would be like, you, you can miss it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't really like missing cool things like this. But you can see there's gonna be a lot of people trying it out, and... Uh, I don't know if this is mainly because the game is out, so there's gonna be a shit ton of people playing, and there's more likely to encounter people doing the same things as you are, but... I have uh, in Guild Wars, like, it feels like everyone's just doing shit. Like, I never felt like this with any other MMO. Where you really do encounter people doing the same stuff as you. Especially with the events, like, you see there's a boss there. You can see it on the map and the game tells you, like, there's a new event. It, it's just gonna pop up here in the middle of the screen. And then people tend to just gravitate towards that because the experience is actually really good. And uh, I think that's really cool. You end up, like, battling bosses with, like, tons of people. You see how- that's, this is what I was doing before. I was trying to get up there because it sort of feels like you should. I later on discovered that all you have to do is... Go behind here and then... You know, do it that way. Let me tell this guy's here. <laughs> I spent, like, ten minutes trying to get over there. And then I realized you just have to go be behind the staircase. Oh, okay. And that's it. Like, I think it's it's really cool, though. And uh, I, I... I don't know if my commentary was uh, up to par, <laughs> I guess. But, um... I just wanted to show you guys straight up. Because you guys were... You guys have been, been asking a lot about this game, about whether if it's good or not. And uh, I want to do my part in uh, letting you guys know and see, you know, if... Uh, see it for yourself. That uh, it's actually really cool. Like, they do a lot of things really smart in the way that they reward you. You can see that I have 70% discovered. Shoot. Sorry. My uh, my computer ran out of space while I was recording. And I didn't realize it until I stopped in the end of my uh, of the video or what was supposed to be the video. So, <laughs> uh, like I was saying though, um, they're very smart in the way that they reward you. Because, um, I don't know if you noticed... But it didn't, it didn't just give me experience, but it actually gave me a stat point. It gave me a, one of these uh, skill points. And uh, I can actually use those to learn new skills that actually help me in the, in the whole leveling process and in the end game, of course. Uh, you can see there, there was a skill challenge, so it gives me a skill point. So that it, it not just gives you experience, and it's just... It's just not, it's not just a nice time sink, but it actually does reward you in a very concrete way. Like, it's, uh, besides obviously, you know, getting the 100% completion on the map and giving you a nice chest with items, it also does give you, uh, uh, skill points, which is cool. And then if I jump here, I don't know if I'll make it, there you go. I get, this is the actual vista, that was a skill challenge, but these ones are the, are the ones that give you experience. And uh, once you get there, uh, you get like a nice panoramic view of the place, like uh, like this. <laughs> Besides the experience, I think it's really nice. It's so fun just going and collecting this this type of things. You know, if you're a, if you're a, com a completionist, you know it's it's. I, and I'm not. That, that's the weird thing. Like I'm not a completionist at all. Like I never I never go out of my way to do this sort of things, but this game does reward you in a in a, in a very special way that even makes me want want to do them. So you know that's that's that. So you saw that uh, you know all that it all that I have to do, you know all the platforming that I had to do to get there. I think it's pretty cool, and it probably is gonna get harder as uh, as I go far uh, far away into the levels and uh, the harder zones of the game. I think they're just gonna get harder. So. Yeah, I just wanted to show you, you know, what, uh, what was that, what, what, what that was, all, man, I my words, what that was all about. Because you guys were asking a lot about, you know, what, things about the game, and, um, yeah, for those of you who want to know, this is my server, uh, Borlis Pass, that's how it's spelled, um, you should see it on the, 
service server browsers if you want to play with me that's where you have to go i'm thinking of doing a a guild like a, a channel guild so with you guys cool. where uh we will be able to do like end game pve stuff you know like dungeons and maybe uh maybe some pvp for those of you who are interested i'm i'm very interested in doing a, a lot of you know awesome pvp as well so yeah so if you want to play with me come here and uh yeah, I'll be making a lot more videos about Guild Wars. I'm really enjoying this game, and I hope that I can persuade some of you to buy it and tr and check it out because it is freaking amazing. Like I am just blown away by this game. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.